Hi, I'm Ken Levine, the creative director of Rational Games. And we're here today to show you a little bit of Bioshock. And we had a great E3 this year with Bioshock. And this is your, your, our first chance to show you, the gamers, and what we're trying to do. Well, what are we trying to do? It's pretty ambitious. What we're trying to do is to redefine what it means to be a first-person shooter. Our goal is to put a stake in the heart of all those cliches you've been playing for years in first-person shooters. The linear corridors, the very static environments, and the cookie-cutter AIs. Now, we understand that's a pretty lofty goal. And it's really going to be up to you guys to decide whether we succeed. But with that said, let's go to the world of Rapture and take a look at Bioshock. Welcome to Rapture. Rapture is an underwater utopia built by a bunch of, a bunch of dreamers who decided to get away from what they saw as, as a world falling apart in the late 1940s, after World War II. They wanted to be free of the threat of governments, and the, and the nuclear bomb that hung over their he everybody's head and, and the religious powers that be that try to tell them what kind of lives to live. So they decided to build this beautiful utopia, the city under the water, where they could try out these philosophies. Now, Rapture was filled by incredible people, the most incredible scientists, architects. It's a place of extraordinary people, but when you come down to Rapture, you see a world that's fallen apart. One of the things we tried to do is to redefine what AIs can do in first-person shooters. And the way we try to do that is by giving them unique and incredible relationships that you haven't seen in other games. With that said, let's take a look at one of the first AIs we're going to show you in Bioshock. Now, if you step forward, as Joe steps forward here, you'll hear the approaching footsteps of a Big Daddy. Now, the Big Daddies won't bother you if you don't bother them. They're genetically modified protectors of characters we call the Little Sisters. And the Little Sisters live in these vents you see over here. Now, what does a Little Sister do? The most important resource in the world of Rapture is something called Atom. The genetic material that powers all the genetic mutations that make, gives everybody their incredible powers in Bioshock. Here comes the Little Sister. Now, her job is to go around the world and find the only source of this Atom, this genetic material. And where did she find it from? Well, you're about to find out. But Joe, don't get too close to her. Oh, Joe got a little too close to her. And you see, she gets terrified. She runs behind her protector, the Big Daddy, who warns you off. Okay. Now, if you step back, if you get too, well, if you get too close, he'll push you back. But now, if you step back, he won't fight you. He'll just warn you off. You see, just stay away from her. Okay, so let's step back, Joe, and let them go about their business. Now, what is her business? Her job is to find Adam, and she finds it where? In the dead bodies that populate the city. And you can see how she gets it out of these bodies through this tool she has. Now, but the Adam's a nerd, and it needs to be recycled to be brought back to life. How does she do that? In her own body. Okay, so now the question you have is, do you exploit this little girl like the world has exploited them and take the Adam from her by force? Come on, let's go. Or do you find another way to get Adam, maybe even by helping these little girls? <gasps> up to the player to decide. We don't make those moral choices for the player. We leave it up to them. You'll even find opportunities later on to become the protectors maybe of these little girls through genetic modification or even have the big daddies think you're the little sisters and they'll protect you. Manipulating the eyes, working with the eyes, exploiting the eyes are, is a huge part of this game. Now another part of this game is the fact that the player is always starving for resources, always on the search for resources. And right now Joe doesn't have any ammo for his gun. So he's going to head in the store and see if he can find some ammo. It's a little dark in this store, so let's turn on the light. Oh, but he's actually, Joe seemed to have activated this turret. Joe, let's head behind the counter and get some cover. Well, this turret's taking chunks out of him. Watch out, duck down. You can see everything in the world of Bioshock is interactive. Every, every bottle, every cash register, everything. You can even drink the alcohol from the bottles and that will have an effect on him in the game. 
Now he searches the, um, the cash register and he doesn't find any bullets for his gun, but he finds some atom, which is this, this the money of this world, the genetic material that drives everything. Now, but fortunately, there's more items downstairs in the store. You can see from that sign, it's our lame little joke. So let's, um, let's head downstairs to find, look, to look for more bullets, but I don't want to get shot, we don't want to get shot by this turret again too badly. Let's use our, one of the first plasmids we have in the game. And this is called Speed Boost. Plasmids are like our X-Men-like genetic powers. And Joe's going to use a speed boost plasma now to get to move quickly past this turret. So let's activate the speed boost, and he zips by without taking a hit. So let's head downstairs. Now, one of the great things about Bioshock is is it's a shooter with it doesn't have the traditional monsters you see in the in, in in games like you know guys with flaming skulls and rocket launchers. The people in Rapture were just regular people from the period, from the 40s and 50s, trying to get by, trying to survive in a world falling apart. And you can see this woman genetically modified to become what we call a splicer. And um, she's just a regular person who had to modify herself to survive. You can see some of the physical effects the genetic modifications have on her. If she didn't make it, let's search her body and see if we can find some resources. Good, we got some bullets on her body. Let's grab some more bullets there. Now let's head upstairs. Now you can even see even the gun and modify your own weapons in Bioshock. And the gun, um, you can see it's just a regular pistol that Joe's modified to be more powerful with stuff, see, stuff he's found around the world. Oh, watch out for those fish. Now, this is a security station up here. Now, Joe is going to use this security station to, if he, if he wants to later on, to take control of the security system, which is something he can do. Like we said, all the eyes of the world are, there's lots, there's hundreds of ways to interact.